Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the Brickyard for the running of the Domino's Pizza 300 at the Brickyard. I'm your host, Dragon Knight Cole, and in case you're wondering, uh, yes, we are at a new Indianapolis Motor Speedway. This is Indy 2014, which is used everywhere else, but... But compared to regular Indy, it's not a total death fest. I ran tests. This one can work. Anyway, enough of a venting about old Indy. We're at a new Indy. Let's go over the starting lineup. Starting on pole for today's race will be Marcus Sachi in the Winn Dixie Ford. He will start alongside Jay Gambit in the Bass Pro Shops Chevrolet. There's the title sponsor for the race, uh, Andy Thomas in the Domino's Pizza Chevrolet. She starts alongside Joshua Sakuli in the Timberwolf Pontiac. Jordan Bell in the Reese's Chevrolet will start alongside the Spree Sprint Chevrolet of Eli Bright. Henry Sanford in the White Rain Hair Care Ford will be alongside Josh Jixon, the winner, the points leader and winner of last week's race at IRP. They have Sky Common in the Nesquik Ford and William Brock in Polaris ATV Pontiac. Clorox Ford of Anthony Fox will start alongside Lysol Pontiac of Eric Monaco. The Bell South Chevrolet of Damian Blue will start alongside the Racing with Jesus Chevrolet of Jordan Anderson. Shane Lake and Yellow Transportation Dodge will start alongside Jack James in the Geico Ford. The Kleenex Chevrolet of Connor Hurley will start alongside... Excuse me as I yawn a little bit. will start alongside Johnson Zorlin in the STP Dodge. Daniel Price and the Great Clips Ford will start alongside the Alltel Dodge of Dylan Young. Tyler Deaver in the Pepsi Chevrolet will be alongside Matt Dixon in the Albertsons Ford. Phil Parker in the Verizon Wireless Dodge will start alongside Boldy Bear in the Kingsford Ford. The Duraflame Dodge of Chelsea Bowles will be alongside the Racing with Jesus Chevrolet of Quentin Moore. The Ghouls Pump Chevrolet of uh, Devon Blue will start alongside Dylan Ebertinian in the Marines Ford. Samet Oskin in the Sh Shell Pontiac will be alongside Gatlin Downey in the Fina Lube Chevrolet. Sonic Chevrolet of Jay Jefferson will start alongside the Lipton Dodge of Johnny Gardner. The Castrol Chevrolet of James Qualls will start alongside Seth Cole and the Stanley Tools Pontiac. The Kodak Dodge of Zachary Fitzwater will be alongside Arthur Baranowskis and the Amico Pontiac. The Taco Bell Chevrolet of Ken Bell will start alongside the Gain Ford of Kyle Matthews. The AC Delco Chevrolet of Cole Deaver will start alongside Kev Shearer in the Cheese at Pontiac. Rounding out the field will be the Alka Seltzer Plus Ford of Jesse Turner and Jordan Strunk in the AC Delco Chevrolet. So, hopefully, this won't be a wreck fest. Uh, from what we did, I've noticed in the test, most of the passing is going to be on the straight parts, go in t turns two and four, but there can be some passing in one and three. It's just not as common as it was in the previous ND. But I can tell you wholeheartedly, it should not be a wreck fest. And if somehow I jinx it, well, screw my luck. Anyway, we get the command. Drivers! Mark, we have given the command, and Marcus Sachi, who has had the best, who has the best time, is going to lead them to the line.
So here we are. For, we're going to be racing for 40 laps here at Indy. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. And the pace car's off. Here they come to the green flag. Boogity 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 boys and girls, let's go racing at Indy. Marcus Achi going to try and take the lead going into turn one here and he does but don't look now here comes Andy Thomas with full head of steam going in turn two trying to trying to trying to win try, trying to lead a lap in the namesake race here at Indy. Now going in wait. Oh, well, oh, okay, well, there goes Seth Cole under caution. Kev Shear playing Matrix Dodge. And Amy Thomas going to lead that lap by like seven car lengths. But geez Louise, that all started with Zorlin up in smoke. I'd like to know what happened there. Any more cars get damaged? Baranowskis? Maybe? I don't know. Alright, everyone just slow on down. We don't need to pile drive into each other. Alright, so Kyle and Kev, they, they slowed down. Now we gotta wait for Strunk and Seth. And Seth Cole, he was, he's up in the top five in points. He did not need this today well it seems the only thing wrong with Seth is a bent up side so he might be able to compete he just he's got uh, as long as he don't have any major front end damage same thing for Strunk anyway uh, Amy Thomas is your leader here we are just had our first caution here at the Domino's Pizza 300. Oh, hold on now. Joshua Sakuli is coming to pit road. Hold on, so Sakuli not thinking he can make it all the way or something. Oh, same thing. We got some other cars coming into pit road. Quentin Moore coming to pit road. Cole Deaver, Jack James, Seth Cole, probably to repair some of that damage. Um, see what everyone, see what everyone's doing here. Oh, they're going for they're going for tires and fuel. There's the Cooley. He's going for two tires. Cole Deaver's already off, so. Looks like a two-tire stop for these guys. So Sakuli, who is in ninth place at the time of the caution, is now going to start back around 38th. I got to see if Seth Cole is, it might be trying to bang out that side. See if Seth Cole is even going to be able to make it here. See what? Let's see where. Uh, okay, so they're they're off in turn two, about to come in turn three. Seth Cole is still on pit road. There you go, and they're able to get that car fixed as best they can. But we'll see if it. We're gonna see if it's gonna be enough here, ladies and gentlemen. And Seth Cole drop drops it and is finally off of pit road. Oh, like Jack James is gonna slow down. Now we got now we gotta make sure Seth Cole doesn't pile drive everyone. Cause no joke, these car, especially slowing down for caution, these cars will pile drive each other. Okay, there 
They're going into turn four. Is that Cole trying his hardest to make it back here? Trying to take it slow so he doesn't use up his newly top his new fresh tires. There he and there there's the rest of the pack as Seth Cole starts to slow on down. Ladies and gentlemen, Brianna Niger leader. We'll be right back to see what caused the caution. Okay, so here we are for the... For, this is actually a two-part wreck. We're going into turn three here. Uh, Jack James just gets into Zorland's corner panel and just does not... Lit, does not lift. We get go back to TV1. You see Jack, Jack James is on Zorland's corner panel and it's just going to... Just drive him straight into the wall. And then... Oh. Heard that one. Then we go back. Now we got to take it to Seth Cole. He sees Smokey he's trying to avoid everything. And then, just out of nowhere, Jesse Turner just slams him. Which puts him into the wall. And then he gets... Hits Jordan Strunk. That's going to cause Strunk to go up into the wall. Seth Cole spinning. Kev Shearer plays the old, the best game of Matrix Dodge I have ever seen. Just barely getting out of that without any damage. And Jordan Strunk. Got to give it to him. He, he was able to keep that car off the wall. Yeah, the, ma the major unlucky factor was uh, Johnson Dorland, but the caution didn't come out until Strunk and the Cole started spinning. Anyway, we go back to live feed. We're just in time here. One to go. Annie Thomas is still your leader. Second place is Marcus Sachi. Third place is Jordan Bell. Uh, outside polls are Jay Gambits in fourth. Uh, Henry Sanford's in 5th, Sky Common 6th, 7th is Eli Bright, 8th is Anthony Fox, Ninth is Damian Blue, and rounding out the top 10 is Shane Lake, and don't look now, the points leader is in 11th spot. Pace cars off. We already had one caution, will we see any more? I hope not. Green flag is out, and Andy Thomas gets a jump on Sachi. And and Gambit got a little jump on us, uh, Henry there. Let's see, let's see if Seth Cole. Oh, Seth Cole's already going for a pass on Jack James. Maybe. Oh, Jack James got some hood damage there, so he's probably not able to compete at full speed. So it looked like Cole Deaver being the last car on the lead lap is about running 201 and Seth Cole is just 5 miles an hour slower and the 4 car is even slower than that. Meanwhile, they're battling up here. Good grief. Hold on. Where are the leaders? They're battling for a second and Jordan Bell is going under Sachi. And he's got to, oh, well, there goes Hurley. Straight up, almost into the points leader. Oh, they're, and they're going to wreck again. Oh, boy. Uh, they're like four wide here. Hold on, we got, we got to keep an eye on this. And, oh, yep, there they go. Oh, no, they keep it together. Oh, never mind. I spoke. Oh, Ken Bell. Okay. Ken Bell was up 
in the catch fence. Barely hit the wall, pit wall there. Oh, hold on. Anthony Fox has scrunched up hood. Oh, yep. Uh, our points leader, Josh Jackson, has side damage. Oh, yep, there they go. Bumping into each other. Kev sure. Well, he doesn't look like he got damage. Oh, wait, hold on. I may have spoken too soon. Yep. Just that little bump just messed up his car. Any more hood damage I need to be aware of? Alright. Any Thomas is out in front. We'll be right back. I think I jinxed it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, uh, wait. Let's turn one. I think it is. Okay, yeah, going into turn one here, it may not look bad, but the points leader here is about to force some room that's not there and cause a whole bunch of problems. As you see, Josh Dixon trying to get into to the inside of Fox to force a three-wide situation. Fox is going to close the door, forcing the five to go in the block, which in turn is going to put the 47, to make 22 go into the 47, which sent the 47 into the 33, which causes... This. 33 come back up, clips the 47, gives him his hood damage. 47 smacks into the side of the 5, giving his damage. And 50 doing some ultimate side drafting. Same thing for Ebrahimian, getting some side damage off of the 34. And then we go to the 8 car for the second part of the wreck. And it's literally two wrecks here. As we, uh,. Fast forward it a little bit here. More like this, the second wreck was the cause because of the first wreck. Look at yeah, look at Gatlin down the slide here. But anyway, um, yeah, two wrecks happen here. The first one is Ken Bell and Gatlin Downey. They just slide into each other. And what you see is Ken Bell having some horrible near Vegas flashbacks as he goes straight into the wall. And Gatlin Downey car gets up under him, nearly flipping him into the catch fence. And Phil Parker doing another Matrix dodge there. But then we go back to Baranowskis for her part of the wreck, and yeah, Anthony Fox just gets straight up into her and turns her into the wall. How, how no one else got, got to be a part of it, especially Phil Parker, I will never know. Alright, we go back to live feed. Hey, what well, do you know? One to go. Uh, retirees list from that wreck include Fox, Ken Bell, can't say I blame him, and Damien Blue. Wasn't Damien the one that turned Ken Bell? Okay. Yeah, Soup is right here, uh, fresh and out of the shower. Still on vacation, mind you. You're like, you're not six feet away from me. You're like six inches. Alright, so go enjoy your vacation. Anyway, uh, we return back to that. Uh, the cars that I'm curious to see how they run now is, well, Jack James obviously can't keep up, but now that brings up the question how the points leader Dixon, um, Baranowskis, Everhemian, Hurley, We'll see if Seth Cole can run up the pace now that he doesn't have to worry about lap or slower cars. But anyway, we go back up the field here. Your top 10 is now, it's still Andy Thomas, your leader, then Jordan Bell, Sky Commons, Eli Bright, Dev, Dam, Damian Blue, Devin's the 34, my bad. I, I keep getting those two mixed up. And Shane Lake, Jay Gambit, Henry Sanford, Marcus Sachi all the way back in ninth, and Daniel Price looking to capitalize on the five cars' misfortune. Anyway, green flag is out. Oh, my bad. 
And Jordan Bell... Hang on, I got an itchy ear, folks. Okay. Jordan Bell is not letting Amy Thomas out of his sights. Jordan Bell finished second at the cup race at IRP, so he's looking for some form of win at Indy. And he is all over Amy Thomas's back bumper. He may try and pull a move going into three here. We'll see. No, that's going to be Sky Commons. Commons deciding he wants a piece of the pie. Anyway, let's go back to the back of the pack here and see how this pack is shaping up. Uh, Price is in 38, trying to get past Ebrahimian and Hurley. And two slow cars are between Baranowskis and uh, Jack James. Seth Cole is still being able to keep up with the pack here, ladies and gentlemen. So Seth Cole's points run may not be over just yet. All right, we go back. We're going to go back up front right now. Right now, uh, right now, Andy Thomas is just running away with this. I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, it's not going to be like this. Uh. They get racy for a second, but when someone catches them without having to worry about lap, well, other cars, then they can pass here. It just, it just looked like, it looked like Amy Thomas is stomping the field, but trust me, just give it some time. Amy Thomas out in front. Eli Bright looking for his first ever uh, cornflakes win, but now he's got Damian Blue right under him and Jay Gambit in fourth place. Sky Commons fell back to fifth, and Jordan Bell, who is at second, that line has fallen way back here. In fact, he's still on the outside lane. He's 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 going backwards in a hurry. Same thing for outside or no, same thing for the pole sitter. Uh, Marcus Sachi. I don't think he's even let a lap today because ever since Green Flag, uh, A. Thomas just took the lead, never looked back. Jay Gambit gonna make a move here for third. Gam Jay Gambit being one of the only few Gambit boys and not having that great of a season in his league. Uh, John is in the top five in points in Wheaties, and Jim won the uh, Daytona 500. Both are technically in the running for a championship, but Jay has been the only one not doing so hot, but he's He's looking to have some, he's looking to turn that around here at Indy in third place, driving the Bass Pro Shops 81. Technically, he's one of only two DEI cars left since Ken Bell went into the fence. The other one being Cole Deaver way back there. You can, when you focus on the camera long enough, you'll see him come into view in the back there. But right now, I think this is going to be Andy Thomas's first shot. Uh, First competition all day. It's Eli Bright. But now Jay Gambit trying to reel them both in. Bow is on for fourth between Monaco and Sky Common. Shane Lake is in the picture. Uh, Daniel Price is now getting passed by Matt Dixon. Chelsea Bowles. This is the first time we've seen her all day. And as soon as I say that, here's another person we haven't talked about. Samet Oskin alongside pole sitter... Marcus Sachi, who got back to the bottom. Tyler Devers looking to climb his way up the field. Then you got uh, Ontario winner Jay Jefferson and the Sonic Chevrolet. Or, no, not Ontario. My bad. Gardner won Ontario. I'm thinking of when LJ Toledo won it in the Holiday Inn car. Uh... No, the 29-1 at North Wilkesboro. Oh, we are under caution. And it involves Dylan Ebrahimian and Dylan Young. So, another break for 
Amy Thomas, who was looking to, she, she was about to come under fire from Eli Bright, but the caution saves her again. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the most cautions I've seen. I think I jinxed it. We'll be right back to see what bought us out under caution. Well, I had a little controversy here at uh, Indy. Uh, I'll let you be the judge, but this is what I'm gonna I'm gonna call it as I see it. Anyway, uh, about a three wide situation. Twenty not. The 39 gets into the 21, 21's going to shove him down into the 3, and the 3 and the 39 hook, which sends Dylan Young straight into the infield wall, nearly collecting Cold Deaver in the process. He's going to spin up, accidentally tap his teammate, give Gatlin down the heart attack. As you see Phil Parker spinning there, He now he's got some hood damage. In fact, let's take a look. Yeah, he's going to spin and smack the wall, and then you can see a little buckle right there in the hood. And then we go back to Dylan Young, and he's just going to get piled-drived by Ebrahimian. Jeez Louise. Like, Dylan Young got some airtime off of that. And then we're, we'll go back to Philly P to show you his, his full experience with it. You see, he's right there. He sees his teammate coming off the wall, but he's trying to battle Kyle Matthews. And just the fact that his back, the back side of his car, of Dylan Young's car, tapped him. In fact, let me see if he actually got some hood damage. Yeah, he, he does have the hood damage because right there he smacks the wall. Left side of the hood, just... You can see a little buckle right there. And you want to talk about someone that... Going to need a new change of pants. I said before, Gatlin down here. Let's go on board and see what he saw. On board the Fina Lube Chevrolet. Dang, not once, but twice he had to avoid cars. Hold on, let me do it. Oh no, he does have a little damage. Right there, top right. So, Gatlin Downey has a little bit of damage on the Fina Lube Chevrolet. Hopefully, it won't be in the, it won't be bad enough where it'll inter interfere with his car. But gee, Louise, that you want to talk about a man that needs to change of pants? It's that guy. All right, we go back up front here. Yeah, and. Just the fact that Eli Bright was all over Andy Thomas's back bumper and that happened. Once again, Andy Thomas just catching lucky breaks here at these cautions. So, as of right now, your retiree list includes Dylan Young, Everhemian, Anthony Fox, Ken Bell, Devin Blue, and Jonathan Zoyle and matching his car number. Billy P is now the last car. Got some side damage, and I don't know if they were able to. No, I can see that little buckle in the hood. So we're about. We're literally just past halfway, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back, and hopefully we can get some racing in and finish this thing. Here we are for the third green flag of the race, and Eli Bright is not letting up. From, from the 99. Fight. Okay, that cost me to save you, but I have the better car. Prepare yourself. Let's see if Eli Bright can force a move going into two. And the thing Eli Bright needs to happen is he needs Gambit to stay behind him, and he does. Eli Bright going for the lead here. Eli Bright and Jay Gambit timed it perfectly. They both moved almost seemingly in unison to try and overpower the 99. And for the first time, all race, we have an... Oh, it's going to be close, but by, by like half a spun end of a car, 
Eli Bright's going to take lead, and as soon as I say that, Jay Gambit now says, Sorry, Eli, you served your purpose. It's my turn to lead now. Now we go back. While we take a... We're going to... Oh, look. Teammate, second and third. Well, one battling for third, but... Sky Commons and teammate Matt Dixon now sticking together. Now may, maybe they're trying to have a team effort uh, to secure a win at Indy. Sky Commons is all over the back bumper of that 81 car. We're going to check, see how the slower cars are running. Yeah, Philly P's car just got messed up from that one caution. We go up here to these three. Jordan Strunk. He's having a hard time keeping up. And and Gatlin Downey, Seth Cole, and uh, Kev Shearer all back here. They're, they're not out of the draft, but like, they're, they're getting pretty far backwards. Cole Deaver, technically the last car to pack, but Seth, pretty sure Seth Cole can still reel him in. Maybe Hurley, too? Anyway, we go back up front. Matt Dixon is taking the lead from Sky Commons. Wait, who who led line? Okay, so so Jay Gambit led. Yeah, Jay Gambit led. Sky Commons was taking it off a of two, but then Matt Dixon was like, "Sorry, I want the lead lap." And now Sky Commons is being shuffled back here. Is he gonna go back to fourth? May lose fifth here. Nope. He was able to close the door on Tyler Deaver, but now Matt Dixon is ahead with a. With a gap, too, so we might see Matt Dixon out in front for a little bit here. Uh, Andy Thomas has fallen all the way back to close to 14th, and she is still dropping. That's what I, if you get, it's like Vegas, kind of. If you get stuck on the outside, you're going for a ride backward. You have got to get to the bottom as soon as possible. And now, yeah, look at Sky Commons. He's going backwards. And look who's... And for the first time up here in the top five, it's Tyler Deaver saying hi. Tyler Deaver trying to bring that 24 some luck here at Indy. And Marcus Sachi, who started on pole but never led a lap because 99 got around him. He's looking to lead his first laps of the race. Tyler Deaver's not going to make it easy on him. There's, right, and like we said, Matt Dixon just cruising at this rate. Tyler Deaver going to, Tyler Deaver maybe thinking to get behind uh, Sachi and maybe work with him to catch Matt Dixon. And look who's in fourth, Jordan Anderson. We haven't seen him up here all day. He's, he's sneaking his way forward. And then you got Eric Monaco in fifth. Oh, there's a wreck. Oh, never mind. So Matt Oskin got sideways there. Had some damage. It's going to slow up the field a little bit. Oh, Kyle Matthew getting on the grass. Are they going to wreck going into three? Doesn't look like it, but gee Louise, you want to talk about scary. So Matt Oskin still, still hanging in there, but that gum was that a heart attack? Just waiting to happen. Now there's a gap between... Uh, Quentin Moore and the nine car, Kyle Matthews, Kyle Matthews, who's been in the back all day, now starting to come forward. And as soon as I say that, Boldy Bear, oh, Boldy Bear, getting right up on Kyle Matthews' side there. So, Matt Oskin, even though he's got damage, he's still hanging in there, so maybe just a minor, maybe just, it, probably some minor side damage, so we'll see if Samet Oskin can. Continue racing here. And you want to talk about someone that's never giving up. It's Seth Cole. He's up here in 26. Was all the way back here in like 31st at one point. Wait, are we under caution? No, we are not. Tyler Deaver did get past. He's all the way back to 8. Jay Gambit looking, looking for a pass under Monaco. Now Jordan Anderson is in second. Him and Sachi are going to have to work together and they he is closing in on Matt Dixon. 
Are we coming to 11 laps to go? Dixon. Out in front. Been the man of the hour ever since. That they were able to get around uh, the 99 car. Let's see. Let's see where that 99 car has fallen back to. Where led most of the race so far. She she's working her way back up. She was clocked in at 11. Still is. Might be able to get 10th here from Tyler Deaver because he's now getting passed by Shane Lake. And he, she will get back into the top 10. So Tyler Deaver on the backward slide now. But now that he's back on. Well now that he doesn't have to worry about any passes. He can make. He can slowly rebuild his ground. In fact. If he's able to re-catch the draft to Brianna. He might be able to re go back in the top 10. Because Shane Lake and now Brianna Knight. Are fighting for position. Well, Eli Bright turned past Shane Lake and with Brianna Knight right behind him. Tyler Deaver's going to make it a three-car freight train here. No, Brianna Knight's going to go up high and allow Tyler Deaver to get back into the top ten. What sort of move is that? And Matt Dixon has been passed. Jordan Anderson led at the line. And now Marcus Sachi has taken the lead with Eric Monaco in second. Eric Monaco has reclaimed second. Jordan Anderson was able to get back to third. He may try a crossover here. No, it doesn't look likely. And now karma seems to be happening because Sky Commons uh, helping a teammate just went right past him. Like, you pass me, I pass you. That's how it works. Now Henry Sanford trying to get some semblance of a run on on Matt Dixon, which he will, and now that can bring a four-car freight train. Jesse Turner's now in the top ten. And that move has really cost Brianna Knight, because she went from tenth all the way back to, uh, she's about to probably drop ten spots back to twentieth at least. Right now, the, be the best car looking game that's point momentum right now is Daniel Price. Kurt, last clock in at 18. Right, we're going to see where Josh Dixon, yeah, clock in 33rd. That's pretty much where he's going to be unless Jordan Strunk somehow passes. Or unless he gets passed by Jordan Strunk. There you see these four battling. It's Samad Oskin. That damage is really messing with him. Because now him and... Him, Downey, Hurley, and Shearer are just trying to just hang in there. And you got Dixon, Strunk, and Otterbaranowskis. And rounding out the field for cars is Philly P and Jack James. Eric Monaco taking the lead here going in turn two. And Monaco now has a full head of steam ahead of him. Coming to seven laps to go. Eric Monaco has won already. I want, don't quote me on it. I think he won at Ontario or not Ontario. Why do I keep saying that? I meant California. Sheesh. Ontario was won by this man. Oh, okay. Well then, uh, great timing. Who is up? Qualls. Devin Blue, Johnny Gardner, I know that much. Zachary Fitzwater, coming down. Well, is this going to be it? I don't know. It's going to be close. We might, might be the, I don't know if they're going to have a one lap dash, green, white, checkered, or what, but Eric Monaco may be in the driver's seat here. Jordan Anderson second, Sachi third, Tyler Deaver fourth, and Henry Sanford fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, that caution is going to make things a little bit interesting here. Eric Monaco is your leader. We'll be right back to figure out what got us under caution here. Gee Louise, what is it? What is it with the three in wild ride this race? Anyway, you're going to see what I mean here. Alright, so James Qualls has a run on the three. Going into one here. 
But he's just going to get up in the Cold Deaver, and they lock bumpers. That's going to put Cold Deaver in the wall, which turns Qualls around and sends Jay Jefferson into the wall. The 87 hits a 27, which is going to send 27 straight up into the 6. The 6 gets airborne from the impact right in front of the teammate Zachary Fitzwater, who had nowhere to go. And... Hold on. Three, I'm pretty sure three has hood damage. Uh, question mark? Hold on. Let me watch this. Um, okay, that's a questionable one there, because I don't see any buckles in the hood. Um, but yeah, uh, Qualls just racing really hard there with Cold Deaver and just they just locked bumpers and, well, yeah, this happened. They were racing for about 16th, 17th. All right, we'll play it in real time. This is just brutal. There goes 27. And just, ugh! That impact in the Gardner just, ah! I just gotta watch it one more time from Gardner's perspective. Jeez! And let's watch him. And let's, uh... We're gonna take it on board with the Ontario winner. Jeez! And now, now we gotta go on board his teammate. He literally had no time to react. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Aaron Monaco is your leader. We'll be right back to see how if we will get one, one more chance to race for the win. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a green-white checkered here at Indy. Eric Monaco is your leader. Second place is Jordan Anderson. Marcus Sachi third. Paul Deaver fourth. Henry Sand for round out the top five. Who's gonna win? Green flag is out. Monaco and Jordan Anderson just get a jump on the 60 car. It may be between the 60 and the zero at this rate, but if they get battling, that's gonna bring Sachi right to them. Anderson decides it's time to go. Well, he tried to peek going into one there, but decided to hold off on it. Marcus Sachi looking a little low there, but he's too far back to make a pass here. Henry Sanford going to make a pass on Tyler Deaver. And going into four, there, Jordan Anderson, Jordan Anderson is going to try and Make a run for it. Who's going to lead up the line? White flag. Man, if that was the white, if that was checker flag, Aaron Monaco would have won that race. But now Jordan Anderson trying to hold on. And here comes Marcus Sachi. Jordan Anderson able to close the door. Can Sachi get a run going into two? Everyone just bobbling for any position they can get going into the final lap. Tyler Deaver going to make a dive for second. That's going to be all she wrote. Coming to take the checkered flag. Jordan Anderson is going to take his first win of season two of Corn Flakes. Jordan Anderson wins the Domino's Pizza 300 at the Brickyard. Now we got and there's the last car on track, Damian Blue. So I believe the results are complete. Yes, it is complete. Your 
official your official results. Jordan Anderson is your winner with Mark Asachi in second, Tyler Deaver gets third, Jay Gambit fourth, and Henry Sanford gets fifth. Then you got Jesse Turner in sixth, Eli Bright seventh, Eric Monaco eighth. Matt Dixon ninth and Kyle Matthews out of nowhere scores a top ten. They got Quentin Moore, Sky Commons, William Brock, Shane Lake, Daniel Price, Jordan Bell, Boldy Bear, Annie Thomas, Chelsea Bowles, Joshua Sakuli, Jay Jefferson, Cole Deaver, Seth Cole fighting his way back to twenty third, so give that man some credit. Uh Connor Hurley. Kev Shearer, Samet Oskin, Gatlin Downey, James Qualls, uh, Josh Dixon, Jordan Strunk, Arthur Baranowskis, Jack James, Phil Parker, and Damian Blue. And rounding out, then your casualty list. Dang, three Gardner Penske cars. Uh, Johnny Gardner, Zachary Fitzwater, Dylan Young, Dylan Everhemian, Anthony Fox, Ken Bell, Devin Blue and Jonathan Zorl. In fact, the best Gardner Penske car was 19th, being Chelsea Bowles. Technically, their affiliate did better than her, uh, Shane Lake. He's 14th. Cause I would consider racing with Jesus, but they're Chevys, and Gardner Penske are Dodges. So, Jordan Anderson gets another one. Gets his second win, or no, his first win of season to, and I believe this is his third win in, his third win in, uh, overall in Corn Flakes. It's either second or third, I can't remember. But Jordan Anderson has won. If there are that many cautions at this Indy, I am not looking forward to what the next Indy is going to have. Till next time, I'm your host, Dragon Knight Cole. Next week, the Corn Flakes will be going to to the Watkins Glen. Both it'll be a double header for both Corn Flakes and Wheaties. So, till next time, I'm your host, Dragon Knight Cole. This has been a production of NASCAR Wheaties Cup. Take care, everyone.